guys, welcome back. I'm so glad you're here. I am Coach Julia, and today is a bit of a special one. It's one of my very, very favorite moves. This month is the month my birthday falls in, so I thought I should teach you one of my favorite skills, because it's my birthday. So today, we are gonna be learning the Ina Bauer, a gorgeous gliding maneuver. The Ina Bauer was actually invented by a German skater named Ina Bauer. She was born in 1941, and she actually won the East German national title three years in a row during the 1950s. She invented this move, and therefore it is named after her. So to do this, you're gonna have some, need to have some really open, flexible hips. So we're gonna actually start out over on the wall with some exercises. So as you guys know, I love our exercises. So here at the wall, we're gonna start with a little bit that's gonna help with the flexibility and also figuring out where we're gonna put our body weight. So you can do the Ina Bauer with either the left foot or the right foot in front. For now, since I'm facing you guys, I'm gonna practice with that left foot in front, all right? Um, some people definitely are better on one side than the other, and some people are more ambidextrous, so just play around with which side you like better. What I'm gonna do is take that left foot and turn it out and lean it against the boards, all right? And I understand some of you probably aren't gonna be flexible enough for this yet, but you wanna try to push back until your right leg is parallel with your left leg. So you can see that that right leg is directly behind the left one. They're like on runners. I imagine that my feet are on a set of railroad tracks, right? So they're right next to each other, parallel. Okay, that's what you're striving for. You're gonna probably feel some stretch in this front hip here. So in addition to having our feet ideally parallel. We're also gonna push our weight forward onto that front foot. You wanna have 60 to 70% of your weight on that front foot. If your weight shifts to your back foot, you're gonna get all twisted up when you try to do this out in the center ice. So we're just gonna push that weight towards the front foot. So we have, again, 60 to 70% of the weight on the front foot. That knee should be bent so your weight is right on top of that foot, and then we're gonna try to straighten our back leg as much as possible. You can think about using that straight back leg to push yourself forward so you're over the front leg. Okay, so that is gonna be a stretching position. You can start out simply by trying to get into this position and hold it a bit, and then you're gonna want those hips and shoulders square to the wall. So you can treat this like a stretch and practice this before you do anything else. The next step we're gonna do once you're a little bit more comfortable with this is use the wall to actually walk ourselves down. So you're in your Ina Bauer position and I'm just gonna use my hands and start walking my weight towards my toe pick. So the idea is you wanna hold all of these muscles, keep that really strong structure, engage your core, engage your quads, but use your hands to help you get used to everything moving together. So you're staying very square, hips, shoulders, and blades all parallel with that wall, and then walk yourself down to get used to that moving sideways in that position. All right, so there is your exercise number two getting used to that sideways motion of the Ina Bauer, using the wall for a little bit of help. Once you've practiced those, your stretch and your sideways motion, we can go out into center ice and get used to doing this from moving away from the wall. So out on center ice, we're gonna actually start with a backward crossover. There are a number of different ways to get into an Ina Bauer, but this is the one that I personally think is the best one. So if you have a coach who's teaching you a different entrance, you can go with the way your coach is doing it, okay? You don't have to follow mine. This is just the way I like to do it. So since my left leg is going to end up being my leading leg, I'm gonna do a backward crossover with my left leg on the inside of the circle. So I'm pushing with that right and crossing that right over the left. So you can see that that left leg is on the inside. So I'm just gonna get a little bit of momentum, couple crossovers. Now you wanna turn your hips and shoulders in 
towards the line. So start looking really strong in. You're gonna take this foot from the back, turn it open, and lean on it. Now honestly, this is gonna be the thing that most of you are gonna have the biggest challenge with, is getting that foot turned forward and also shifting your weight from the right to the left, okay? Again, you don't wanna have that weight back here on that right foot, you are gonna get all messed up. If you try to keep that weight on the right foot, it just turns into some kind of a pretzel maneuver, okay? So that is not what we're trying to do here today. So make sure once you get that weight up, you're gonna turn your shoulders and hips in towards the circle, take that left foot from the back, turn it forwards, and then lean on it. Put all your weight, well, 70, 60 to 70% of your weight on that front foot. So I want you to practice that over and over. A couple crossovers, turn that foot to the front, and lean. Then you can try it again. You probably aren't gonna be able to hold it very long at first, and it's probably gonna be a very tight circle, okay? But that's okay. You can start from there. Once you can actually hold that foot in that Ina Bauer position, then you wanna start really start thinking about opening your upper body and rotating towards the direction you're going. So I'm traveling towards my left. So my left shoulder really needs to start pushing back and that'll help me open up. And then you wanna also wanna point your knee open, okay? If your knee leans in and your shoulder lean in, it's gonna make that Ina Bauer tighter. The other thing that can make it tighter is if your feet aren't totally parallel, but they're kinda like wedged in almost like a spread eagle, then that's gonna make your Ina Bauer tight in a, in a tighter circle as well. So to make it as big and open as you can, you wanna work on getting those feet nice and parallel and opening up your leading side, okay? Once you can do that, you can try steering it, okay? So you have inside Ina Bowers and outside Ina Bowers. Outside are way harder, but they're beautiful. So you wanna be able to eventually steer your Ina Bauer. So when you step your foot down, you're gonna start with that foot leaning on the inside edge to that inside Ina Bauer, okay? You're making that inside circle. But as you work on it, you can start taking that knee, like I said, opening it up and straightening your Ina Bauer out so that you go um, like a, more on a straight line. Let me see if I can go down a line. So we're gonna try to turn that Ina Bauer, turn that foot, really parallel and rotate your body forward a little bit and that'll help you go in more of a straight line instead of that tight circle. So based on the direction your shoulder and knee lean and how parallel your feet are, you can either do that deep inside Ina Bauer, that inside edge Ina Bauer that we were trying at the very beginning, or you can start working on opening up and rotating your body and doing a straight line Ina Bauer. So you're gonna want both your edges on the ice rather than just your inside edge. That's a little harder, but they're beautiful. So definitely practice that, get that nice rotation in your body and try to keep that foot straight up rather than leaning in, right? The direction of that foot is the direction that your Ina Bauer is gonna go. And we can also try, like I said, an outside Ina Bauer. These are the hardest, but I usually start from an inside edge because that's my easiest way of getting into it. So I'll get a little bit of speed but then you have to over rotate your shoulders and lean onto that outside edge. So that leading foot needs to be on an outside edge to make that outside Ina Bauer happen. So play around with that Ina Bauer and try steering it. So again, the three factors that are gonna help you steer your Ina Bauer are the lean of your foot. Is it on the inside edge? Is it on both ends, edges? Or is it on the outside edge? Okay, so the lean of the foot 
Then you have the direction of your knee. Are you, is your knee leaning in, your knee leaning out? Okay, so you can work, fiddle with that. And then there's your torso. Is your torso leaning in towards the inside edge? Is it nice and straight and rotated like you'll need for a straight line Ina Bauer? Or is it even leaned backwards slightly where you will need it for your outside Ina Bauer? Okay, so the direction of your shoulders, the direction of your knee and hip, and then what edge you're leaning on. All of those make a difference in how your Ina Bauer uh, is steered out on the ice. So once you can do a basic one, practice steering that Ina Bauer. So like I said, these Ina Bowers are one of my very favorite skating moves, and they're a wonderful showcase move if you're doing a dramatic program. So go out there and practice it. The next challenge is to do it the way I like to do it, and that is corner to corner. So that's what we're gonna do, all right? So we're gonna get some speed going. Inside Ina Bauer, straighten it up all the way down the ice, and then we can lean back and turn it into an outside Ina Bauer. Alright skaters, I hope you enjoyed this one. Go and play around with one of my favorite moves and if you practice it and have even a tiny bit of success, I'd love to see your versions on Instagram. Of course, you can tag me at Skating Coach Julia on Instagram so I can check out your progress and we can cheer each other on. If you enjoyed this, then please do give us that thumbs up. And as always, I look forward to reading all your comments in this section down below. If you haven't done so yet, then hit that subscribe button and the little notification bell down in the corner so you can see all my videos when they come out. Happy skating and I'll see you next time.